he'll pick up a book on his own now and start reading it, uh, which is a, a far contrast from where we started, where it was, like I said, a, a struggle to get him to read. Hi, I'm Mom. I'm Jennifer. I'm Dad. I'm Dominic. Uh, hi, I'm Christian. It's on the last day of second grade, that's when, where we live, the report cards come home. And so there's no one to call, no one to go talk to at the school. And we had gotten his second grade and in the school year report card. And it had most of his testing scores had dropped in that year. Um, so not only was he not at grade level anymore, but he was lower than grade level. And so my concern obviously was that one, I felt totally shocked. No one had really reached out to me from the school or talked to me about it. And I just didn't really know what to do. Well, COVID was his kindergarten year. So here um, in Louisville, we had online kindergarten. And, you know, I always felt like from the beginning of school, he never was really prepared. Reading became more and more of a, a challenge. Uh, some days it would take us an hour to two hours maybe to get him to read 20 minutes um and so i was trying to figure out what is what is keeping him from being able to do those types of things like reading at his grade level so i was just driving down the street one day and i saw learning rx and i made a u-turn at the stoplight that i was at and i went inside um, didn't have an appointment. I just went in and the owner happened to be there that day. And so she and I had the mom heart to heart, as I call it, and um, talked for a good 45 minutes. And from there, I had everything set up and really felt like someone was listening and cared about our situation. We had set up um, early on in that next week for him to go and do the initial testing. And the process was very easy. Um, Christian was really comfortable going in there doing the testing. They had some kind of fun games and different activities that they did. And Molly had encouraged that we bring anyone with us who helped in Christian's learning. And his grandmother, uh, my mother, is very involved in his schoolwork. And she came along as well. And Molly went over all the results with us. And it almost, it felt reassuring to see that what we had always thought um, the testing showed. She like, she would never give up on me. Like if I was having a hard day, she would never give up to try to get me working. Like she worked hard to be my trainer and I'm very glad she was my trainer. What was hard to do before I went there was definitely math and reading. I don't know as far of how I advanced in school. She really paid attention to the best way that Christian learned, and she would kind of model the training around that. Uh, before we went to Learning RX, was that he would get so frustrated um, with schoolwork. That was the biggest thing. We would find that doing a one page math worksheet at home would have you know meltdowns and lots of arguments and um ripped up homework and um <laughs> lots of frustration <laughs> the biggest thing i've noticed is just his confidence that he has now in school and that he's more apt to learn and to pay attention and and focus more on schoolwork and getting it done and doing it well whereas before he would rush through it um, not always giving his best work beforehand. And now I think, aren't you pretty proud of what yeah. you do at school? Yeah. Um, it's just been awesome to see his, his progression and development in really uh, a short amount of time there. I would 100% recommend Learning RX. Um, not only did we receive support uh, for Christian's learning at this at the center, Malia also extended her uh, um, availability to us to work with uh, the school uh, that Christian attends. Uh, she came in and stepped in as an advocate for Christian. Um, but his most recent report card that again they sent home on the last day of school for third grade, he had a 230% increase 
in his reading comprehension and in math. So overall, from where he started in third grade to where he finished in third grade, the school saw a 230% increase. Well, I hated school. I never wanted to go to school. And now? I do. I love school. I, like, I used to not look forward to going to school, doing all the math, reading, writing, ELA. Now I'm like hyped to go back to school. <laughs>